Hello coin collectors, it's Frank from Hunter Rare Coins and let's do a 50 cent coin roll hunt. Well this is it, roll number one. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can find Eddie Marbo from 2017 after all this time. See what we've got. Here we go. 1976, we don't need. 1974. No, we don't need the 74. Or the 78. The 70s were quite prolific in their 50 cent coins, as was the 83. But the 85 and the 93. Always nice to find just a million at each of those. It's a fairly good condition. 74. But not what we're after. 1982. Yeah, Commonwealth Games Brisbane. Once again, not too bad a condition coin. 1971. Nope. 75, no, we're just about out of all the 70s. Here we go again, another 75. But of course the years where there weren't any 50 cents circulated, we've been through this many times now. Let's have a look, that's a double bar, as we can see. We'll just take a closer look. There it is, there's a double bar at the back of the emu's head. We've seen that plenty of times, plenty of times. Lots of those. Might just hold on to that and have a closer look at it later. 2013, as I was saying, the years that there were no circulating 50 cent coins, there were quite a few of those years. 67, 68, 86, 87, 89, 90, 92. 83 was a very high mintage year. There's a 2014. It's amazing so far. We found nothing. We know that's not a double bar from 1980. We found no commemorative coins at all. That's really weird. For a whole roll, not a single commemorative coin. Let's see what's in those last couple of coins. 71. No. Let's see if we can find some states in these coins. Some states from 2001. 1975. Wow, not a single, single commemorative coin. But I can see right on top of this roll, there's Jimmy Cook. James Cook. Maybe we'll find something in this roll. And there's Jimmy. It's in pretty good condition. I normally wouldn't hang on to him, but because that's in pretty good condition, I might just hang on to him for the time being and we'll pick up the pace from now on in. Okay, 2018. 3.7 million of these, I believe. And I am hanging on to these at the moment. Not too bad. So that goes aside to be a keeper. And oh, look what have we got here. Here we go. A 2019 Indigenous Languages. Fantastic. Haven't seen one for a little while. 2.1 million. Fantastic find. Wow, just brilliant. Very, very good. Wow, two finds in two coins. That's a great roll. Okay, that's roll two. 
That was a pretty good roll as well. So let's head on to roll number three. Okay, roll three, all gone. Let's mosey on down to roll number four. Okay, roll four, all done. Last roll, roll number five. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Decimal changeover. 2016, a little beaten up on the edges. Not nearly as many of these now. We used to see a lot of them. There's about seven million of those. Mm. I'll put that aside and we'll have a look and see we may keep that. Last two coins, 1974 and a 1982. Is it it's the Commonwealth Games in Brisbane? So no Eddie, no states, but we did find some very nice coins. So let's have a look. Okay, this is what we got in this hut. Look, I've got two James Cooks. The reason I might be holding on to those, I'm just starting a new 50 cent book, even though I still haven't found Eddie for the old book. But it's just time to keep going. I've got three 1980 double bars. That just shows how many of them there are out there. Very prolific coin. Lots and lots of them. There's three just in that one hunt. Okay, I've got a 2016 decimal changeover. Not in the greatest of conditions, a little bit beaten up on the edges. But they're getting harder to find, not finding nearly as many as what we used to. Two 2018 IRB QE2 effigies in rank broadly at 3.7 million. They're a low mintage coin and they're going to get harder to find. And an in indigenous languages. There you go. Lovely indigenous language, languages. From 2019, very nice coin. Just on just over two million of those, so that's very good. That's not too bad a hunt at all, actually. So there you go. If you like my video, you can give me the thumbs up. There you go. Remember to wash your hands after doing all this because of all the grubby stuff on these coins. You can also leave comments. I love to hear from people. You can write to me snail mail at P.O. Box 338 East Maitland, New South Wales 2323 and you can press the button in the middle here to subscribe to my channel. That's Hunter Rare Coins. I'm Frank. I'm the coin detective and I'd love to see everybody in the very, very next video. So I'll see you all then.